What's up everybody, Ben here, back with another video. Today we have something a bit different. I'm not going to say it's weird, I'm going to say it's different. So, you might be wondering, boy, have you lost your mind? What are you doing with your pedals on a table with some pieces of pipe stuck to them? Well, here's the deal. There are a lot of disabled gamers out there. Okay, uh, maybe it's you can't use your legs, can't use your arms, whatever. And I think that everybody should be able to game, everybody should be able to be in the simulation, so I think we should do our part to help out. Uh, now, equipment manufacturers, right, are making these for the 90 whatever percent of us that, you know, have normal functioning limbs, uh, no disability. Uh, we don't think about how people who can't use, say, their legs or their arms or whatever, how they have to deal with the smallest things uh, that become big challenges. So my buddy Jeff Master Flash, he's on YouTube. You should check out his channel, show him some love. It's down in the description below. Uh, he is a gamer and a sim racer, and he uh, likes to drive the Nurburgring, and he likes to drive it with his steering wheel. Now, his steering wheel came with pedals, but he can't use his legs, right? Uh, and that got me thinking. So much of my life is based around my legs, right? Uh, that would be devastating to me. Uh, so that got me thinking, what can we do to get him racing at a higher level uh, and make it easier for him to race uh, consistently? Right now he's using his wheel and he's got buttons on the steering wheel that he's using for gas and brake. Those are like Xbox, uh, you know, buttons, the A, B, X, Y buttons. Those don't have very much resolution, right? For us that can use pedals, we have these grades of how much we can apply the throttle or the brake. Um, and that's really important. If you want half throttle for something, you can do half throttle. With a button, that's really tough when you're turning a steering wheel around. So uh, we got to talking, and I got to thinking about it. Well, what if what if we could use a joystick, right? You could have gas be forward and back be brake. And I actually tested this out with just this Logitech joystick that I have. Um, I tested it on Project Cars 2, and it does work on my PC. Uh, Jaff Master Flash, he's on Xbox, right? We won't hold that against him, right? Okay, <laughs> just kidding. But anyways, he can't just plug in any old device and have it work. Um, so his wheel works, but he doesn't have a joystick that he could use. And even if he did, it might not work at the same time as the wheel. So then I thought uh, a little bit more about it. And I realized there was some way we could modify the pedals he already has, right? They're working, uh, they came with the wheel, and they should uh, work properly while he's steering. Uh, originally, I was thinking, well, maybe we could modify the device, get something on the wheel. He's in the UK, I'm on the west coast of the United States, so that's not really possible uh, to get his equipment and modify it. So instead, what I came up with was uh, stick pedals, essentially is what I call it, the stick pedal mod. Uh, <laughs> the patented BioBen stick pedal mod. Basically, what I've done is I've taken my pedals for my Logitech G27, plopped them up here on a table, uh, found some pieces of PVC pipe uh, just laying around the house, and uh, wrapped some duct tape around them real quick, dirty, uh, took about 15 minutes, taped them to my pedals, and I've made hand controls. I got gas, I got brake. Now, my brake's pretty heavy, uh, quite hefty there, so I'm going to get a good workout with my arm here. Anyways, hopefully this will help him. So to test this pedal layout, I thought, all right, uh, what's a good way to do this? Uh, obviously, we need to go into a racing sim. And Project Cars 2 is one of the sims that Jeff has over on Xbox. So I thought, OK, he likes the Nürburgring. Let's see if we can do a lap of the Nürburgring in these. That's what we're going to do. I'll tell you right now, it's going to be tough in 16 years of driving. I don't think I've ever used anything close to hand controls, so I'm curious to see how it turns out. I've never done anything like this, but if this can help one person, that's enough. But if this can help many more people, uh, maybe you're in the same situation, you should reach out to Jeff Master Flash. One, because he's doing things on YouTube, he's getting out there, getting uh, out there in the community. 
he can help you, you can help him. Uh, we should get you guys together, but also we should get you in contact with not just equipment manufacturers, but people that can do things. Um, I have very little technical skills in terms of engineering, but uh, I thought up an idea and I have prototyped it here. And if we could get more people thinking about disabled gamers, uh, Xbox itself is doing a lot of great things with accessibility controllers. Let's get some equipment out there that's cheap for the sim racing community. That would be my hope from this plea here. But for the meantime, let's test out our stick pedals and see if they will Nurburgring. I know that's not a term anybody has ever used before. It's kind of like will it drift, but uh, I just came up with it. So will it Nurburgring? Let's go find out. All right, we're here in Project Cars 2. I decided to go around the Nordschleife in a GT4 Aston. I've driven this car before at the 12 hours of Imola that Yuri and I did. I've never driven it around the ring before uh, today. If we look at the leaderboard here in time trials, it looks like the slowest time is an 8.20. That's a bit of an outlier. It looks like high 7 minutes is kind of the range we're in. I'm not trying to hate on these people. I know the ring pretty well, but I've been driving for 16 years plus with uh, my, my legs, and I've never used hand controls. So, yeah. Let's give it a go. All right, we're here at the Nürburgring Nordschleife. I got my hand controls originally. I was using uh, these buttons, upshift and downshift, but my fat fingers kept hitting the wrong thing as I was turning. So I put downshift to the paddle, upshift is still here. Um, my brain is having a little trouble with that, but I'm getting used to it. I've done a few attempts. Uh, pretty much any time that I've gone off, uh, it's just, you know, simply uh, some error in my shifting, the gas and brake here aren't really the problem. Uh, it's really not as bizarre as I thought it would be. It's not certainly natural per se, seeing how I've never driven hand controls, but the inputs you're going for are the same. So here we go to start our flying lap. Through the Hotzenbach. If you guys didn't see it last weekend, Yuri and I attempted 24 hours of the Nurburgring in R Factor 2. I say attempted because uh, at about 16 hours to go, I made a slight boo boo in that I binned the car and we had like 20 minutes worth of repairs. Um, basically, long story short, don't text and drive. <laughs> Sorry, Yuri. <laughs> so, yeah. I, uh, I, I completely stuffed it. It's wholly my fault. Uh, we'll be back, though. Thanks to everybody that tuned into that. I know Jeff Master Flash was there for a lot of it. He loves the ring. That's partly why I'm testing these controls here. Flat out here. Up to Schwedenkreuz. So dangerous. We're going to break. biggest problem is where I'm grabbing the uh, brake isn't consistent so I'm not quite sure how far I'm depressing it. It's basically the biggest trouble I'm having in telling how hard I'm braking but uh, my brake pedal is pretty heavy I would say. Jaffs is probably a little lighter. Spring on it. Up into Adenauer Forest. So dangerous. So many crashes here. Oh that was a bit mistake. That was on me. Too much gas. I'm trying to talk and do this and use hand controls. It's difficult. When I did my first lap, I didn't talk. I'm surprised how much uh, talking can affect your hand-eye coordination. Down the hill here. Up to the triple right and a break just a bit. Down towards.
Roberts Fair Seafin. Down the hill, flat out, flat out. Rex Muller. And up the hill. You know, with so many corners, you would think uh, the Nürburgring would be a tough place on braking. And it's got some heavy braking zones, don't get me wrong. Like right here. But, you're really not between the brake and the gas real fast on and off, on and off, um, like on some circuits. So, uh, like some place like Monaco, where you're back and forth, back and forth, uh, you got less of these rest periods. Uh, probably be a more rigorous test of my setup here, but it is what it is. Keep going. Up the hill here. Gonna break up here because I'm a bit scared. Through the courage corner. Didn't have much courage there. Down to cluster towel. Focused here, heading up to Hoacht. Highest point on the circuit. Throttle just feels pretty natural, actually. Brake, brake is a bit weird. I don't know, maybe it's because it's the throttles the right side of my body normally maybe I don't know maybe my brain is somehow equating the two together danger corner here down into uh, Brunchen super dangerous part of the circuit lots of crashes happen there right out to the curb and my worst corner on the circuit the ice curve Take it nice and cautious. Same here. After the jump, got a little slide going on there. Lift off the throttle. So dangerous there. Really close to the edge. Flat out through Flans Garden 2, up to Schwalbenspans here. German and hand controls at the same time. Stretching all kinds of boundaries. Klein is carousel. Galgenkopf. Ugh. Come on, we're almost home. Gotta be careful, don't stuff it in the last corners. Onto the straight. The straight, don't look at your phone here. Trust me. Keep to the left as well. It's right about here, the tourist fart and entrance. For some reason on the version we had, it was pretty much open, so I just plowed right into it. That was an R factor too. <laughs> Under the Bilstein Bridge. Gonna be a bit of a chicken here. A bit of practice, you could definitely go faster through there. Last corner. And across the line. Woo! That was
was a workout, man. <laughs> you get some guns doing that. My brake pedal is very heavy, so <laughs> it's a workout. So we did a 731.677. It's <laughs> not a bad time. <laughs> that's uh, that's one of the most unique things I've ever done driving a virtual automobile, let's say. Um, so where are we on the leaderboard here? Puts us in 17th on this out of, you know, whatever, 30 people. Almost to the top 50 with hand controls. <laughs> That's not bad, man. So, if you're a disabled gamer, don't be afraid to get into things like sim racing. Just because the equipment isn't made for you doesn't mean we can't find a way to make it work for you. So, uh, I've been BioBen. Go check out my buddy Jav Master Flash over on YouTube. His channel's in the description below. Give him some love for me. Hopefully we can get him to set his pedals up like this and we can get him having a great time on the ring and everywhere else. All right, that's it. I'm gonna go have a beer. That was exhausting. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.